why you shouldn't wait for miracles for the next year. Why you shouldn't wait for miracles for the next year. So, what should we expect? Where are we heading? Where are we going to with this message? Let me start by talking about one of my favorite quotes by Ralph Waldo Emerson, right? What he says is, shallow men believe in luck or miracles, but strong men believe in cause and effect. Shallow men believe in luck and miracles, but strong men believe in cause and effect. So uh, instead of being busy waiting for miracles to come, it's better to get to see them and to use this uh, Christmas season to plan out something for your life, to plan out something better, to plan out your miracle instead of waiting for the miracle. Not because I don't believe in miracles, and not because I'm saying there are no miracles, and not because I'm thinking that you should not believe in miracles. I think if you are going to talk about documented miracles, I probably have more miracles than most preachers in the world, but I don't campaign with them. I don't push them forward. I don't uh, use them as the big thing, because that is that miracles is not the big thing. In Corinthians, it says miracles is for unbelievers. Miracles are for unbelievers. In the gospel, it says miracles are for ch are children's bread. In the Old Testament, we see that miracles are, is for the is for the wilderness. <laughs> Once people get to the promised land, they have to perform their own miracle by themselves. So, <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson knows what he's talking about. And even Jesus said that go and preach this gospel of the kingdom and these miracles shall follow you. These signs shall follow you. Jesus expects miracles to run after you. Jesus does not expect you to run after miracles. You should not reduce yourself to any that runs after miracles. When you begin to run after miracles, you reduce yourself. And then some of you are going from one prayer house to the other. <laughs> and then you are expecting that next year, and God will just visit you, there will be miracles, that you are waiting that next year will be better than this year, and that uh, God will send some miracles. Well, <laughs> that time you are running about, you know, doing, you know, Happy Christmas and all that, and wearing cap and dancing, partying. Maybe that is the time you are supposed to sit down. Do some serious thinking.
and do analysis. Go and do critical thinking. Go and find out what are the things that you did right. What are the things that you didn't do right. What are the new things that you could do to help you to become a better person and to have the result that you did not have last time in this time. So why you should not wait for miracles? Because only weak people wait for miracles. Shallow men believe in luck and miracles. But strong men believe in cause and effect. Strong people, they make their own miracles happen. They make their own miracles happen.